Hello everybody, we are back to another round of GAC. Uh, this will be my third round in this particular set. Um, having won the first two rounds, it's me up against Saro. Um, I'm not going to go over my defense, um, I did that in another video. Um, so quickly, I will show you guys the walls here. So we have Leia, Phoenix, Aiden, and Sari. Uh, in the top wall here, and then in the bottom wall we have <clears throat> we have Gigi, Mothma, Qui Gon Jinn, and uh, Night Sisters. So I'm going to jump over to my trusty uh, Word document here. Um, so looking at this round, I'm going to start with the bottom wall, and you can see uh, I've got counters listed there for. Um, Gigi, Mothma, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Night Sisters. So we're going to use um, these teams to try to get through the wall um, to open up the back, and then I can plan some of my heavy hitters around that. Um, I suspect there's a little bit in the back wall, um, Galactic Legends probably, um, which is why he doesn't have any aside from Leia in the front, but we shall see. <clears throat> okay, so let's start with Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, go to for Qui Gon Jinn is bad batch for me. Um, this tends to work really well. I do throw a um, protection light side Datacron on here. Um, I've been getting unlucky with this matchup recently, where Anakin gets a turn. Um, so I haven't been getting this perfectly, <clears throat> but it just depends. This doesn't seem to always go the right way. Um, <clears throat> depending on how Qui-Gon goes down. <clears throat> but ideally, uh, Anakin won't get a turn here, and if he doesn't, then yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's a perfect 75 on... Um, that's a perfect 75 on that. Um, here is my secret weapon for Night Sisters. Um, no matter what Night Sister comp version relic level, nothing matters here. Um, this secret comp um, destroys Night Sisters in every conceivable way. Um, I am going to throw just a little protection up cron on here. Um, don't even need it, but why not? Um, basically, I'm using a lot of my non galactic legends to get through this wall. <clears throat> so. After this, I'm going to have a pretty beefy roster to work with. Um, so, if you're wondering what's going on, um, Night Sisters with uh, Phoenix here can never land Plague. It's, like, impossible um, because anytime they get debuffed, um, Kanan, <clears throat> Kanan is basically healing them for... 25% of their max health, um, which is more than any of the plague debuffs can do. So um, on top of that, when you use Hera and her other stuff, um, you're getting even more health than that. Um, so there is like literally actually no way to lose this. You can auto, you could, uh, there's just absolutely, Phoenix just uh, completely murders this. Um, and as you can see here, Marin doesn't matter at all. Um, I've ignored her. She keeps doing her nonsense. Doesn't uh, doesn't even matter. Um, so the good news is is that this is an auto. You can't lose health and you can't lose really protection either. Um, so by just completing this battle, you just win. I don't know how else to put it. You just smash. Um, so we'll get this knocked out. Super secret recipe, 65 versus Night Sisters. Um, okay, so doubling back to my document here, I think I'm going to use CLS on Mothma. Um, this may or may not work. Um, this may or may not be a mistake, actually. Um, we'll see. The only fear that I ever really have with Mothma is that they get away from you and you can't rein them back in. Um... Yeah, that's kind of really my only fear. Um, in order to help with that, I am going to put 
um, my last protection up cron on here just in case. Um, I know that there um, <coughs> Caradune has a relic. Um, I don't think it matters too much. I'm going to hit Kyle though. Um, mostly because I want to get him off the board because he starts with more TM than anyone else. Um, and then, of course, you want to take out Hoth Rebel Scout because that's their generator. Um, and then if you can stun Kara, you want to get her off the table before she has the ability to do this. Because um, that's it's really annoying when she starts doing this number. Um, because when she's buffed like that, uh, she can end up reviving and just doing all kinds of shenanigans. So at this point, um, should be pretty straightforward here. Um, I did lose a little bit of health and protection, so that's 60 instead of 65. Um, don't really care that much, if we're being perfectly honest. That is fine. Um, and then I'm going to use my own Night Sisters versus GG. Um, probably... Don't need anything more here. Um, I have other options, but Night Sisters works just fine. Um, my team should be more than good enough to take care of this. And for a good measure, I'm just going to give them a little doubt datacron here. Um, as a personal note, I find this one to be not near as good as the light side. Um, doubt just doesn't seem near as impactful, um, at least to me. Mm. <clears throat> Different experiences for different people, potentially. Um, I kind of do the same thing, which is try to target down B2, um, get him off the table um, as soon as humanly possible. Um, and then once he's off the table, then the rest of the team can't do too much. Um, always use her magical stealth thing because it's just really super good. Um, again, spread plague, do things, uh, do night sister things. Um, it's mostly just spreading all this kind of shenaniganry that they do. Um, even if someone goes down, I'm not particularly worried about it. I think B2 is just going to die. Yeah. And then I think Droidica is also just going to die here. So, um, GG is getting a bunch of AoEs off, um, but we'll heal up. And we'll probably just win this with uh, 60, I would imagine. Um, don't think I'm going to be able to get anybody back to full protection, but um, should be pretty good. Uh, 65. Okay. So uh, perfect on the Night Sister there. So this is where we kind of pause. Um, we'll take a look at this back wall. I'll throw it on my spreadsheet and we'll go from there. So uh, right offhand, no Galactic Legends. We've got um, Rogue One. Mall Mando and uh, Ewoks. So I'll throw this on my document and we'll get planning. Okay, so looking at the document here, um, I'm going to use my own Leia versus Leia. I'll use Mando versus Phoenix, Wampa versus Aiden, and UFU versus Sari, which is a mirror match. And then for those three on the bottom, I'll use C Bane versus Radis. Jedi Master Kenobi versus Maul Mando and uh, First Order versus Ewoks. Um, I'll probably save that to last um, and start with the other front wall just to make sure that I have all the firepower I need. Um, <clears throat> my uh, Leia team is really, really strong. So in a mirror match, um, I should pretty much dominate any other Leia team. In a mirror match. Um, I haven't tried this recently. Um, but don't think that it's going to matter. Um, and I am going to go ahead and use my Datacron for the protection up here. Just in case. Um, it's been a while since I've done a mirror. So <clears throat> no point in, in risking anything. I've got extra Datacrons here. Um... I like to try to get um, Captain Drogon off the table really kind of like as fast as possible because I find him to be particularly annoying. Um, I want to try to stealth my Leia so that I can get her 
um, rolling here. Oops, this is mistakes. Well, I mean, if I can just take Bane out like right now, that would be great. That's kind of annoying. Um, I will go ahead and use that on Drogon. Um, just, wow, w one shot from Leia there. No more. That's really annoying. But I don't think it'll matter. I think I'm going to be able to basically just assassinate their Drogon here. Sure would be great if R2 could take a turn. I'd love to get his uh his fire off. Okay, that's good. Um their Leia already has an ult. Um, which is actually kind of not good. Um I'm a little bit behind in terms of where I want to be here. I don't think this is gonna kill anyone. Yeah, but the fracture and everything else is pretty annoying. That's a lot of damage going onto my Leia over there. Um, I want to take R2 off the board here so that I can get um, his stats off the board. Um, the rest of the team should lose um, their stats from him once he's actually down. So I think we just kind of keep going home here. Not sure why... Um, Princess Leia didn't assist there. She, she doesn't have like days or anything, so I'm not exactly sure. That must be a leadership thing for Leia. It's one of the things about her kit. It's so complicated. I have a hard time remembering everything that happens all the time. Um, you know, I'm getting some extra shots in that way. Should be just fine on the mirror match here. Yeah, so she's down. Perfect. So 65 in the mirror match, that is fantastic. Um, this Aiden team doesn't even have the Omi, so this is actually um, overkill here. Um, Wampa can take out Aiden with the, with the Omi um, by himself, so this should be even more than overkill. Um, plus, they're not even all, um, they're not even all relics, so some of these guys, Wampa will just smack to death just like that. I don't really have to play this out if I don't want to. Um, I'll probably just uh, roar a few more times um, and then I'll get one more AoE off. And then I'll probably just click auto. I probably really could be on auto right now and it won't matter. Yeah. Yeah, this team, um, Wump is just really good versus Aiden. Um, you know, and especially one that's not even like high into the relic levels. Um, Wump is just kind of womp womp and very dead. So 68 there. Didn't even have to think about it. Clicked auto. Okay, so for Siri and the UFU team, uh, one of the most important things to look at here is speed. Um, because you, if you do this in a mirror match, have to be slower than the other Siri team. If you're not, you're going to have problems. So uh, immediately looking at this, my team is way, way slower even than just those two. So I should not have anything to worry about here. That and I'm using crew um, as a tank, which is infinitely better in my opinion. I am going to give uh, Datacron here, um, and I want it to be the light side Datacron if I have it. Um, I may not have any more light side ones. Yeah, I don't think I have any more light side ones. That's kind of unfortunate. I don't think any of this is really useful, honestly. Well, I'll just throw this on here. Dispelling debuffs is not terrible. 
Um, I don't anticipate this going south. Um, I've showed this on here before, but basically what happens is they'll get a bunch of turns. We'll count them up. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we got five turns in here um, where I'm stacking stats. Um, I don't think it even matters who I attack here. Um, so basically what happens is uh, Malikos here is going to get to 100 of his rage stacks or whatever. He's going to throw an AoE and the whole team basically dies. Um, so I didn't get the insta on the whole team, but it doesn't matter because he goes crazy and has like 18 attacks. And honestly, like it's just, he's, it's just really, really silly. So um the more sex you get on him the more insane he goes and there's no way that two characters i mean he just one shot three characters on the whole team there's no way that these two are going to be able to stop me in any meaningful way whatsoever although i will say that cal as a healer is like really unbelievably tanky i'm actually he's one of the ones i'm actually the most surprised about how tanky he is but there you go that's the that's the uf you mirror match when you're slower um, you have better relics and, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just, I'm just better than, it's just better. Um, okay, so we're going to use Mando versus Phoenix, um, which should be super duper easy. Um, the Mandalorian team right now with its um, insane juice relic. Um, thing is just nuts. She gets a bonus turn. She'll insta kill somebody. If it's if it's Hera, um, this will end so fast. I mean, you'll blink and this will be over. If it's not Hera, then we'll work through whoever it is. Um, it looks like it was Chopper actually, um, who didn't lose his entire protection round. Um, so that's a problem. Um, let's see. Call them to assist twice. Um, we're going to try to get Rex off the table. Okay, done. Uh, this is very, very over. Um, very, very over. Can't do anything to me anymore. Um, and Phoenix is pretty susceptible to the Daze debuff. I'm just going to auto this. Um, yeah, Phoenix is pretty susceptible to the Daze debuff because if they can't assist, then they don't really do a whole lot of damage and none of their synergy helps them with tenacity or resisting debuffs. So you just kind of got to watch um, Phoenix because they can run away from you if you aren't paying too much attention. Um, but looking at the back wall here, um, I think I had all Galactic Legends. So we'll do C Bane on Radis. Um, and this is Radis with the full Gen Cron, but it's not going to matter at all. This, this is not going to matter even in the slightest. Um, sure, I'm throwing um, a Datacron on here just because, but C uh, probably won't even get to ult before Bane kills this entire team. If I had to guess, it's probably going to take only um, maybe like two rounds for Bane to kill this whole team. Uh, or just one. Um, my bad. I I meant uh, just, just one. Um, yeah, just one round, not two. So the problem is you do actually have to take out uh, Admiral Radis, and he is actually kind of tanky. Um, although neither Jen nor Radis can do anything to C or Bane at this point. Um, so it doesn't really matter. I don't think Radis will live long enough to actually get his um, ult off. And then I think the next time this AoE should kill them both. Oh, there we go. There you go. Perfect. 68. Uh, not even have to think about that. Um, we're going to use Jedi Master Kenobi uh, versus Maul Mando. Oh, this is unbelievable overkill. Um, so you just load this up in quick auto. Um, I guess I can give them a Datacron. Uh, there, they can get my Bounty Hunter one. Because that'll add protection in the event that something crazy happens, like, you know, Mando gets a bunch of turns off or something. 
which he can be annoying. He starts with five stacks because I have an enemy Kenobi, which is totally fine. Um, killing the Mandalorian outright like that is actually perfect because he's the one that can give the team immunity. And of all the things we want to avoid right now, immunity is like the worst because um, it just makes this fight take forever. Um, but yeah, you kind of see like that they just cannot stand up to a galactic legend. I mean, Maw Mando is fine, but Jedi Master Kenobi is so, so much better. Um, and then I'm just going to throw a first order at this. Um, no real reason to do any other fancy shenanigans. Um, how about we just kill it and that will be the ground offense. Um, I don't need to save data grounds anymore. So, uh, f funny enough, I didn't even use Afra, um, cause I save her as my anti Java counter. Um, and he must have Java saved for offense. So, um, f funny, I didn't even have to use Avra here. Um, not only didn't have to use her, but didn't, I mean, I have teams left over, like good teams left over that could be somewhere else right now. So that is um, all the ground um, attack. 14-16 uh, is really good for getting out of the ground zone. Um, and these ships will be easy. So uh, this will be Profundity versus Executor. And I'm just going to hit it right now. Um, the, the ships are, are going to be whatever. Um, they don't have any, they can't really stop the rest of the fleets that I have. So this is just a matter of the fleet cleanup, honestly. Um, so this is pretty standard. You open with the reveal on Cad Bane's ship. You blast it into oblivion, hopefully. Um, and then I, from here, it never matters what you do. Um, I've done both where I lay into, um, you know, Houndstooth or I lay into, um, the other ship. It just, it doesn't matter. Um, personally, if you can get Bosk low like this, then good things start to happen. Cause if you can cleanse off his, uh, protection up there and he's at low health, then you can, uh, you can kind of get him, you might be able to just, uh, kind of drop him. Um, and just sheer damage, but without assists from uh, Han's ship over there, uh, it's not looking so hot, so it doesn't matter. You just click buttons here until you win. Um, I'm way, way ahead on ult and all kinds of other things, so even with him, even with Bosk getting healed up, um, it doesn't matter. So this just plays itself out. Um, I'm at 92% on my ult, but like I said, it really, really won't matter. Uh, I'm going to try to take IG-88 out here just because it's annoying. Um, I don't like the double tap basic, does a lot of damage. Um, I always target a Boba ship because you don't want him to be able to get um, that ultimate ability off because it goes through your protection. Um, which is annoying because you drew, you bleed points out of that. Um, but as soon as I do this number with a full team on the board, I just click auto and just let the game just play it out because they won't kill me. They can't harm me. Um, they don't have a cap ship anymore. So I just, you just click auto and let it, let it resolve itself. So I think that's a perfect score. It should be. Pretty close. Pretty close. Okay, so we have um, we have Thrawn and we have um, the Resistance team. Let's see what to. Use. So I think we're going to use uh, a Negotiator versus this. So just standard negotiator team uh, versus Tarkin. And this is a Tarkin with no sky. So it should be pretty straightforward. Um, kill order, blow up the tank. Um, yeah, blow up Thai Imperial Bomber. Um, hopefully daze everything. 
try to get him off the board. Um, and if I can get extras off the board, that's even better. Hopefully that'll die from dots. That's annoying. Um, but it's dead, so this fight is basically over. Um, shuttle doesn't matter too much. I always call him Plo as my second because he does all kinds of good, good stuff. Defense down is good there. This should be a kill. A little bit of debuffs don't matter. Um, we put this on Anakin because we want the offense up over there. And then we just kind of go to town. Not landing any debuffs. There's a little bad, but I think over. Cool. So 71 is okay. Um, and then I think this one we can use Thrawn with Empire. And I think you do like this and that. And like this or something. And you do like this number. Hell, I don't know. I never really pay attention to this resistance team. Apparently, if you pick the target with the biggest buffs um, to use Sky's thing on, then he just kind of becomes insane. Yeah, so seven debuffs there, so. Twenty five stacks apiece. Um, okay, I think the team should be strong. Uh, I'm not an expert, but um, I think that should do it. Twenty five stacks is almost well, things have been insta dying, so um, that's looking good. Uh, and then you call him a tie defender here, and tie defender just womp womps everything. Tie defender is insane, but yeah, so there's a perfect 70. So that is a full clear. Um, that's a full clear one on every team. Almost perfect ground, basically perfect ships. Um, this guy has done one against all those teams, but he only has five total Galactic Legends. Um, he put Leia in the front wall, and my guess is he's probably already used a couple of Galactic Legends to get through this. So, good luck to him. That is my GAC offense. Hope you guys enjoyed.